What is going on guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to another video today. It is the 26th of July and guys, we have finally, finally made it. With almost four months of home workouts under our belts, we are finally making a return to the gym. Many people will have actually returned, um, not uh, today but yesterday on the Saturday, uh, which was the 25th. Yeah. Unfortunately, FTC, the gym that I've been going to, they decided to keep closed for those extra couple of days, so I had to wait until tomorrow. But guys, the time is upon us, and I am absolutely buzzing about it. Those last four months feel like they have been the longest ever, but we knuckled down, guys. We didn't let it beat us. We adapted, and we have overcome it, and we have come out the other end in one piece. Most likely not holding on to as much mass or strength as we were beforehand, but it doesn't matter, guys. We did our best. We maintained as much as we could through that period, and the time has come to return back to the proper training phase. I've packed all my bag already. I'm pretty much ready to go, and I'm actually hitting squats tomorrow for the first session back, which may sound crazy to you guys but at the end of the day it's a Monday and I always have to hit squats on Monday and we're going to try and get back as close as we can to that training split that we were in before all of the COVID stuff. So after the session and towards the end of the video guys I am going to briefly go over for you what I'm doing over these next few weeks because I'm not literally just going back into what I was doing beforehand with my five day split. I'm planning it a little bit differently guys and being quite sensible about it so we can avoid any injuries or any serious doms as we go through the next three to four weeks going back to the gym. So as I said, stick around to the end of the video, guys, to hear all about that. I would really appreciate it, but for now, I'm just gonna sit back and chill for the rest of the evening and try and contain my excitement. And I'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow night when we are ready to hit the first session in almost four months time. Alright guys, so the time has come. I have finished work for today and I'm currently sitting outside of the gym just waiting to go inside. I've actually got changed already as you can probably tell. Um, this is because I think I'm pretty sure that the changing rooms are out of service at the minute. Obviously they're just trying to reduce the amount of contact people have. I'm pretty sure the changing rooms and the showers and stuff um, are out of use. So I had to get changed in my van, um, which is fine. And yeah, as I said, just waiting to go in. I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you're allowed like gym bags on the floor and, and everything like that. And obviously I'm gonna be carrying a camera around. Um, so hopefully like everything goes fine and I can vlog okay. But I am a little bit skeptical that perhaps um, I'll get told off, but I guess we'll see. Let's go find out. Hell yeah, had the vlog this first session back. Oh, go, definitely catch it. All right, guys, we are back. And honestly, walking in here, honestly, almost felt emotional. Like, it's just been so long since I've been in here, and uh, to come back and just see all the equipment, like, just waiting for me. Honestly, it's strange. Like, partly it feels like we never left, um, but then. As soon as I picked up a weight, I realized that that is completely untrue. But basically, guys, I have been through all of my warm-up sets, taking mobility very, very seriously in this session today. And then we basically just got straight under the bar and started to warm up. We're gonna be focusing purely on squats today. As I said, I'm gonna go through my training split with the transition back into the gym. A bit more in detail towards the end of this video, but pretty much, guys, we're gonna be focusing on the compounds with squats today. 60 and 100 didn't feel too bad. I'm really gonna take the time to kind of just take this opportunity to work on the mechanics of the movement more because I've never really felt comfortable in my squat. Um, and obviously having this long off, it's, it's gonna be a good chance to kind of just start fresh and, uh, and get back into it. So we just hit a single at 100. 140 kg. It didn't actually move too bad. Um, it looked pretty quick as well. Not gonna lie, it was a bit of a shock unracking that kind of weight. But I mean, normally I'd go straight up to 180 from here, but we're gonna take a stop off at 160 just so we're uh, not making too much of a jump in one set. So we're gonna go for 160. <laughs> So that was the first set completely suited up um, with the wrist wraps and the knee sleeves and the belt and everything. Um, 180 kilos, four plates, and honestly, it didn't feel too bad. I say that now, I've watched it back, but on the unrack and uh, at the bottom of the hole, that did feel a lot heavier than uh, it used to, of course, but on watching it back, it actually moved fairly quickly. So we're gonna go up one more time, guys, 
and we're just going to go for a top set here at 200 kg and this is going to be the heaviest weight that we try and push today it could just end up being a single um, but who knows if I feel comfortable enough perhaps I'll try and push it for a couple of reps but this is going to be the uh, the heaviest we go today and I feel like maybe I could go heavier but we're just not going to because it wouldn't be the sensible decision today guys obviously we haven't squatted in like close to four months so we need to take it freaking easy but we're gonna go for this top set right here see how 200 is looking like today <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm taking that as a win today. One double at 200 kilos for a top set after four months or so of no squatting whatsoever. And honestly, I'm actually very, very happy with that. I mean, it felt seriously heavy unracking it. Um, but after the first rep, I was like, oh my god, my hammy just cramped up. Fucking hell, I'm gonna be sore this week. Yeah, just thought I'd kind of push it and try and get the double out of it. And uh, it's kind of shaky and slow on the second it felt, but nonetheless, we got it. So. We're definitely not going to that again. We're going to drop it down and we're going to hit some efficient back off sets. Now we're going to try and get some more out of these squats rather than just going super heavy. So we're backing it down to 160 for this first session back. Session, session. 160 for this first session back, guys. And honestly, don't know what kind of rep range we're going to be working towards. So we're probably going to aim for like sets of five or six, but we're just going to play it by ear pretty much and see how it feels once we're under the bar. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's session. The first session in a long while, and boy, can I feel it. I was gonna do another link for the video inside the gym there, um, but FTC has got a one hour limit on the sessions um, at the minute, and don't get me wrong, I did go over the hour there, um, but the gym was really quiet. Um, so there was no one like waiting to come in, but I didn't really want to take the piss and go like super over the hour So we wrapped the session up after squats as planned did some calves there at the end as well Just to add to the doms a little bit more and uh, I'm now gonna head home and get a post-workout meal in Which is very very much needed at the minute stick around though guys because I'm gonna be right back with you And as I said, I'm gonna run you through briefly what I've got in my head at the minute for this transition back into the gyms And I'm also gonna talk about a little bit about what the gym was like um, just so get an idea if, if you're thinking or sort of worried about going back to the gym so stick around guys i'm gonna see you in a minute and we are back so as i said guys i just wanted to really briefly run you through uh what my plan is over the next few weeks as we make this transition back into the gyms and back into some proper resistance training from the home workouts that we've been running for the last you know four months or so because i think this period that we are now going into is going to be very very important in dictating how successful uh this next phase is going to be whether that be um, a bulking phase like me and gaining strength and size back or whether you're going into a cut or just a maintenance phase or anything like that and i just think this point right now and having a good strong start back in the gym is going to be so important in the long run so my plan personally guys is for two to three weeks so this week next week and perhaps the one after is to be to train each muscle group just one time per week and within each session I'm only going to be focusing mainly on the compound movement so as with squats that you will have just seen and then it will be bench press in the chest session deadlifts for back and then we'll be doing some uh, some overhead press and such in the shoulder session sessions very very straightforward sessions guys but there's a few reasons for this which I'm going to run you through now number one I haven't done any proper weight training over the last four months as you guys know I've only had the resistance bands and my own body weight for exercises at home so to go straight from that back to my regular split which is a five-day split training everything two times a week would just be an 
absolute shock to the system. Um, the injury risk would be a lot higher. Obviously, I would have been careful with the sessions and everything like that, but that kind of frequency stepped up from doing what I was doing at home would just be really, really hard for my body to handle. And off of that, which also is point number two, is that I'm trying to avoid having some very, very serious doms. Um, if you guys have had a break from the gym for a long while, you'll know how much those first sessions back can absolutely kill you. And having four months off, I mean, it's just obvious that the doms are gonna be serious. I mean, it's a few days later now, and my legs are still in absolute pieces from that squat session and I only done squats for the legs. If I was going straight back into full blown sessions, you know, training four or five or six different movements just for the legs, I mean, I probably wouldn't have even been able to walk right now and it just would not have been practical for work, obviously I work an active job, um, or just like living my life. Like I wanted to avoid having serious DOMS and training just one movement, um, the main compound movement in each session. Don't get me wrong, we're still gonna be getting those DOMS, but they're gonna be toned down quite a bit and it's gonna help me ease back into it. And then once my body is back used to the stimulus, we can then start to, uh, you know, sort of wean back into those regular sessions and the last thing guys as I did mention earlier there is that one hour time limit on sessions in my gym now my sessions before lockdown easily take two hours on average sometimes more if I'm shooting content for you guys and it's as simple as I would not be able to fit my entire session into a one hour slot obviously as I said it isn't strict in FTC um, but sometimes it may be that I need to be in and out within an hour and doing just the one compound movement and maybe an accessory in the session is going to help me to do so. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, guys. I mean, everything is going to be relative and it basically comes down to whatever you want to do. Um, but for me personally, I mean, I really wanted to focus on taking care of my body because I knew it was going to be quite a shock going back to the regular training um, with my focus of training being such strength based. I knew it was going to be, you know, physical abuse on my body, which is part of the reason why I wanted to make a slight adjustment to my training plan for the next few weeks at least just to try and ease back into it and uh, basically not really hurt myself or struggle to walk for a few weeks so very different obviously to the training I was used to guys but honestly it's just amazing to get back to doing something and to be able to you know squat and bench and everything I mean it's the first weight I've held in four months so it just feels absolutely incredible to get back to be honest and as I said we're only gonna be running this for two to three weeks just as my body gets adjusted to training back in the gym. And then after that, we can begin to transition again back into that regular split that I was running before COVID. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to explain that to you guys, just in case you wondered or were interested in exactly what I was doing uh, in this phase back into the gym, or if you needed any ideas for yourself. So hopefully you guys have found that useful, but that is gonna be it for this week's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this and hopefully it was good to see some gym content again, because I know I had an absolute blast vlogging back in the gym again. I've missed it so, so much, and I'm so excited for the prospect of all of the content that we're gonna be able to film now we are back in the gym. If you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me, and feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to know what was your first session back after lockdown. If you're new to the channel, guys, or if you just haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.